Hi, I'm Barefoot Docs, and today we're going to be looking at how to tie a seek turban. So this is what's known as a gear ski, and this is what goes underneath my main turban, so it's meant to look a bit smarter um, when I tie the one on top. So this one I can use for if I'm going to sleep or around the house, or also if I'm going to be playing any sports. Um, if I'm doing any grappling sports, like wrestling or something like that, and I'm uh, working in those sports, then I tend to wear a scrum hat which is a rugby helmet and it goes around and then there's a strap which goes underneath my chin which keeps my gear ski in place so let's get straight into it so this is a five meter gear ski so it's five meters of material and it's cut in half so it's not as wide as you normally get when you buy a standard um, width material for a turban so this one's orange nice and bright so what I do is I get my hair and um, I gather my hair together and then what I do is I get some of the material, I put it around the hair and then so I put my hand at the top of my head so it's not pulling my hair and what I do is just wrap the material into the hair. So once I've done that I go round and round and then I make a top knot. So my hair is tied into the material at the top of my head and this is relatively loose so it doesn't pull my hair and start to cause me a receding hairline. Next, put my Gunga, which is one of the other um, articles of Sikh faith. And now I tie my gear ski around so there it's above my ear, just behind my ear and on the other side as well. It's going around the back of my head and then just above my other ear and then I go around a couple of times. This bit doesn't need to be neat. So I've gone around the same place just underneath the ear and around the back of the head. So this is quite secure now in terms of it's not loose, it's not going to come off or anything. And now what I do is once I've done a couple of rounds then I've got a nice kind of neat um, top of the turban and then the next one I kind of bunch it together at the back so now it's instead of being open and going over the head it's bunched together then I fold it in half and then the top bits I tuck in so that way now when I do a fold you're not going to see any of the ends so there's the, end, there's the ends fold them over tuck them in go over again behind the ear and then now I go a crisscross. So I've gone behind the head, put it behind the ear, to the top of the turban, and then this is again, I'm going to do the same thing at the back. Pull the ends together, and then go around the back again. So I'm basically doing a crisscross around the turban, and basically attaching it to my head. So now, even if I was to do any sports or anything like that, it's not going to come off very easily. So now this bit depends on how you want it to look, in terms of how neat you want it to look. So now this is the bit that's actually secured to the turban to my head, and all the other bits are just to make it look a bit neater. So this one I go across, and you can go either lower down so it looks straighter, or you can go higher up so it's a, a cross across the forehead. So this one again is securing, it's going all the way around my forehead, so it's keeping the turban tight to my head. And then the next ones again, these are mainly for just how it looks. So this one is a bit short, so I can just go over just to make it look a bit neater. Or you could go around a couple more times and then the last one could go over to make it look neater. So then you can tidy it up if you want to make it look symmetrical. Um, but this is very secure, very good for sports and um, looks relatively neat if you need to go out or anything like that and it's very functional.